Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. Today, I want to give you a great advice, and it's going to be so useful if you want to continue developing your relationships with your friends. Text them once in a while just to say hello, with no other reason behind. You know what is the issue that we have today is that people will text you when they want something of you. They want something. They are in need of something. Of course, in friendship, it happens. Sometimes we give, sometimes we ask, sometimes we need assistance, etc. But that cannot be the only reason why we are texting everybody. Don't make that mistake. In fact, a good friend is the one that is constantly, every so often, checking up on your friends. Just say hello. Send a nice inspiration, I quote, once in a while. Send them a nice picture. There are so many cool things that you can find online today, just as a reminder of your friend that you care. So quickly, think about 10 people that are friends of yours, even if they are not close friends. Think about 10 people that you have not heard from them in a while. 10 people, quickly. And now type a message and tell them, I was thinking of you, I hope you're doing good, and I wish you a beautiful night. Your friend, your name. Do that. Can you imagine what can happen in the life of any of them if that person was going through depression or feeling abandoned, feeling unimportant or sad? How that text will brighten their day? That's all I'm saying. Text your friends once in a while. It's a good thing to do. That, my friend, is the way to develop a relationship with your friends. by Giancarlo Vicitoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy, until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.